If you have ever had a job in the service business, anything from fast food to mechanic to an appliance repair person, you would appreciate the fact that you are judged on how well you take care of your customer because ultimately that's what pays your bills every day. Our service group is no different from our customers expect and actually demand great service because of our equipment like UPS and PDUs or in some of the most critical environments in the world. Making sure that we keep the power on to the critical loads is our goal, and if something goes wrong, we are here to help troubleshoot and repair the problem. You may have heard the term service mentality. That is the best way to describe our Eaton Services group. Our team gets the fact that you don't work normal business hours, and when something goes wrong, you figure it out. That's why we are so proud of our team. And in this video, we thought we would talk through a few of the commonly asked questions and give you a little bit of background on what makes our services group second to none. One of the most common questions I get is, why do you like to work for Eaton's Field Service Group? Service starts with a good product. If you have confidence you are selling a great product, you feel good about servicing it. Our number one rule is actually pretty simple, support the customer. Our centralized team, including engineering, tech support, and Zone Senior's number one rule is to support us. Our focus is on safety for our teams and protection of the customer's equipment because we realize that these critical sites don't take our responsibilities lightly. With that, and with the support of our product teams, we feel like we have the best opportunity to be successful keeping ourselves safe, our equipment up and running, and to keep our customers happy. All of this, good products, full support, and a great team make me really appreciate my role as a customer service engineer or CSC in the field service group. Just to give you an overview of our day-to-day -day work, one of the other questions we get is, what equipment does your team work on? The answer is mainly work on large UPS systems and large power distribution equipment and data centers. Generally, we don't work on small single phase units. This typically includes anything from 15 kW to 1500 kW. UPS with modular parallel systems, much bigger. Some of our customer systems have more than 100 megawatts of UPSs. It also includes power distribution units, or PDUs. These are simply a transformer and a panel board or multiple panel boards in a single enclosure. With larger subfeed breakers, they can feed busway or remote power panels. PDUs with miniature breakers feed EPDUs and racks, which in return feed the servers. We also work on remote power panels, or RPPs, which are similar to PDUs but don't include transformers. They have one or more panels in the enclosure that typically feeds EPDUs or servers directly. And finally, we also work on static switches, which allows fast transfer from one source to another, usually sub-cycle transfers before the servers are even affected. Our job is to ensure that we are well-trained and understand how each piece of the equipment works and how to fix it or field modify it if necessary to help the customers with issues. Another question we get is, how do you know where to go every day? We have a central dispatch. It's centralized for consistency and availability. We can draw on local field personnel or even specialists from across the country when necessary. If we have a big job, we can pull in as many CSEs as we need. So basically, we have a regional group with national support for larger projects when our customers need help. The typical types of jobs the dispatch sets up include preventive maintenance, emergency maintenance for equipment or system issues, startups of new systems, and equipment modifications that are necessary. Another common question is, if you had to break up your job into categories, where do you spend most of your time? The way I would answer this is our job is primarily divided into four buckets. Preventative maintenance, or PM, startup and commissioning, modifications to existing equipment, and troubleshooting or special requests. Of these, preventative maintenance by far is where we spend most of our time. And thankfully, our customers really get it. If we didn't spend the time preemptively fixing things, they may break down. And unplanned outages or issues are a thousand times worse than planned outages or downtime. In most cases, with redundancy, we can do PM on equipment without any disruption to the loads. Preventative maintenance, which accounts for about 70% of our time, allows the field team to keep emergency calls to a minimum and prevents field issues. PM is typically done on an annual or semi-annual basis. Customers either do time-based maintenance 
or reliability-based maintenance. If they do reliability-based maintenance, it may be more or less frequent depending on the environment or other factors. In general, PM work includes site visits, cleaning, calibration, firmware upgrades, field service bulletins or known issue updates, and battery testing. The rest of our work includes about a similar split between startup, commissioning, modifications, and troubleshooting. Startup would include standard startups on single units and major startups for very large systems. And commissioning would include thermal scans, load bank testing, metering and testing of the UPS input and output. We also do efficiency testing and verification as well as transient testing with load steps. Many times we are called to support factory witness testing and every job usually has some level of equipment training at the customer site. In addition to startup and commissioning, some of our time is spent on modifications to existing equipment in the field. This would be things like design and redesign support. It would also include battery replacement, especially for older systems. It may include other component changes like capacitors and fans. In some cases, we do field updates to increase the KVA rating of the equipment. We often install and support remote monitoring with software like Predict Pulse as well. Finally, when we aren't doing PM, commissioning, or modifications, we are usually troubleshooting issues, or in some cases, performing special requests by the customer. Our first and primary goal is always to get the customer up and running as soon as possible. To that end, when we are troubleshooting, there's a lot to do. This includes interpreting alarms and other customer issues, reading schematics, and providing training to the customers. We look at utility system issues like capacitor switching or voltage sags. We evaluate load and generator issues considering things like harmonics. We evaluate component failures within our own equipment. We do load bank testing to evaluate overloads and load steps. And finally, we always make sure to include root cause analysis to come up with a permanent fix to prevent reoccurring events. At the end of the day, we are building relationships with our critical customers and they rely on us to support them when things don't go as planned. But more importantly, before something happens to prevent unplanned issues. You may wonder, what type of customer is typical for us based on the size and type of equipment we service? We have a large variety of customers and most depend on reliable power for their critical operations. This would include a wide variety of large data centers and financial institutions, universities and hospitals, government buildings and critical military sites, manufacturing and process industries like oil and gas, airports, subways, and other transportation customers. And we even service some of the not so typical customers that may have critical loads like chicken farms that definitely can't afford to lose power. Eden's products are designed and built to be serviced and field upgraded with minimal impact to our customers. This allows us to work on our equipment with the least amount of disruption. Our CSEs are highly regarded by our product design teams and we work hand in hand to ensure that when a product is released or upgrades are performed, there are no surprises in the field. In addition, our CSEs are trained on what is available and the latest advancements and technologies to help customers make the best decisions with their systems. My role in the group is the Northeast Zone Manager for Critical Power Solutions Service, or CPS. Basically, I manage the operation for field services in the Northeast. Many times, I'm asked to describe our field service team and how we make sure they are trained properly to safely work on the equipment and systems. Our team structure is pretty simple. It's made up of four main categories of customer service engineers. This includes lead technicians, who have a general knowledge and training for our product lines. We have master technicians, who usually have some specialization and have been in the field longer. There are senior technicians who support the lead and master technicians regionally. And finally, there are zone senior technicians who support much more of the advanced troubleshooting and field issues on a regular basis versus PM work. These zone seniors typically support an entire region. 
Each of these groups has detailed training that they must do from the first day they become a CSC and throughout their career in the field. First, our Power Track 1 course is a very detailed four-week training course focused on safety and equipment familiarization. Next, they take our PowerTrack 2 course, a two-week course focused on UPS fundamentals and power distribution. We have module training, which is advanced equipment training unique to each product line. We also do unique systems and advanced product training. And then for safety, we have a mandatory monthly safety training in addition to OSHA 10 and OSHA 30 training and an annual lotto review. Finally, we have an annual safety week where we ensure that the entire field service group is on the same page and is updated on any changes in safety protocol or field issues. Now you may wonder why this video was filmed here at Eaton's Power Systems Experience Center and the answer to that is actually pretty simple. For almost 20 years now, we have worked with the PSEC facilities. It's been a great partnership with a mutual benefit to us, our customers, and the experience centers. Here are a few examples of how we have worked together and the benefits. We recently installed an energy-aware UPS at the Pittsburgh Experience Center. This allowed us to have a location to perform commissioning and show our customers how the unit works while the PSEC and the rest of the building has the benefit of demand response and cost savings, as well as backup power when they need it. Working in the safe, controlled environment at the PSEC allows us to do things and test systems that we wouldn't be able to do on our customer systems. This elevates our customers' confidence in knowing our solutions will work in the field. Beyond hardware, we develop testing and training for software systems at the Experience Centers for platforms like Predict Pulse and Foreseer. We have done a lot of battery testing and had some of our CSEs evaluate various options for batteries, especially moving towards new technologies like lithium ion at the Experience Centers. We've installed several large systems for testing and training purposes that are still in use after many years. We've installed some of the first large-scale supercapacitor systems at the PSEC. In particular, we've had supercaps installed on a 93 PM for about 10 years, showing how these can be the perfect replacement for flywheel technology with no maintenance. And we can demonstrate how they work to our customers in a real environment with real load. This allows our CSEs the opportunity to do things like make adjustments to recharge times, or other parameters on a real unit and learn how supercaps work. For many years, the PSECs have provided our CSEs a live, full-scale environment for setting up power quality instrumentation prior to a field visit, especially when we are evaluating elusive issues like harmonics, voltage transients, and grounding. This gives our CSEs a huge benefit in learning on a real power system with our full-scale equipment. The Pittsburgh PSEC hosted more than 15 multi-day power quality classes to train our team on advanced PQ topics. We've coordinated with the PSEC team to set up many unique demonstrations like our energy saver and variable module management systems for our 9395 UPS, illustrating the actual energy savings for each mode. And finally, when we run across a system problem that isn't obvious in the field, or if we can't test something at a customer site for fear of a load loss, we use the PSECs to run tests on our equipment with advanced PQ instrumentation or oscilloscopes. This allows us to come up with, and more importantly test, a solution in this safe, controlled environment before we make updates or changes in the field. This has been a huge benefit to our service team and some of our key customers over the years. Having facilities like the Power System Experience Centers sets us apart as a team and allows us to fulfill our number one goal of supporting our customers. We are really proud of our service team, and if you are interested in partnering with a group that has that service mentality, who will get the job done and keep your system up and running, contact us for more information at eaton.com slash UPS services.
To learn about Eaton's equipment supporting critical loads globally, contact us or your local Eaton representative to schedule a visit to one of Eaton's power systems experience centers today.